Pinterest can be an amazing way to send traffic to your YouTube channel, your online shop, your Etsy shop, anything you're doing online. So today I'm going to show you how to open a Pinterest business account to drive traffic to your project. When you go to Pinterest, if you don't already have an account, a pop-up will come up where you have to enter your email, then an account will be created and you can adjust the actual username into something that you like. You click next, then they will ask you a few questions you can answer or just leave blank or neutral and then they will ask you a few things about what you're interested in because when you're setting up a Pinterest account to start you are setting up a personal account but I will show you how to switch it to a business account. Once Pinterest has set up your account they will bring you to a home page that looks like this with just some random ideas that are based on topics then you'll want to go look at your page and see that you have started with zero because that is where we all start. That is important to remember. Then in the top right corner, there will be a drop down button where you can do a lot of different things that you'll want to do. So first you'll want to go through and edit your settings and work on your profile. So you'll want to put in your name, your username is already set, but you can change it here. Then you'll want to add a profile and your website URL and where you're from. In the left hand sidebar, you'll want to go down to account settings and then scroll down. You can use your Facebook or Google account to log in if you want to set that up. But the next thing to do is to convert to a business account. So you'll click that button and then you'll go to this page that says unlock business tools where you can click the switch to business button. And honestly, you should do this because you get analytics, ad manager, audience insights, so many things, and it's completely free. Once you click the button, a pop-up will show up where you will enter what you want to be called and your website info and all of the things that they need to set up your business account. So they'll be asking things like what's your niche and what you are trying to accomplish with Pinterest and what you're trying to promote and the topics that you are going to be promoting items on. So this is helping them with their platform and what they are doing behind the scenes. And then it's also going to be good for you to set all of this up because it gives you a place to start if you want to either create a pin, create an ad, or build your profile. Because your account is new, they'll take you through kind of some steps on how to create a pin and how to do that properly. So they'll give you all of the info that you can just click through and then that will give you a general idea of how to create a pin on the platform. Form. I'm going to go back and work on creating my profile first. So I want to go back and then click on my profile and add a cover image so that I have something up there that's kind of branded. Then I also want to change my photo, which when you click on the photo, it will bring up this pin code thing, which you don't have to do. You can edit in a different way. If you're on desktop and want to change it really easy, you just go up to the right top drop down menu again and go back to your account settings. Then when you're on your edit profile page, you can see where it says photo and then there's a button that says change. So you would just click that and then upload the photo for your account. Since I had a C already for my brand name, I decided to just skip ahead and move to the claim link on the left hand side. This is one of the most important things that you can do when you're setting up your Pinterest account because when you claim your content, it is going to put your name next to anyone that's uploaded your pins or anything from any of your accounts. This is how you get those huge impression numbers and it is something that you really need to do. For me, I'm using this account to promote my YouTube channel. So that is the thing that I claimed. I went in and just claimed my Create with Penny Snap Perfection YouTube account. But if you're using this to promote your digital store, your digital products, you're gonna wanna claim your Etsy shop and your website. So that way you're gonna see what your content is doing. You'll be able to see who is putting your Etsy stuff on Pinterest and your website. So you'll wanna claim as many of these things as you have for your business account. And then if you are on Shopify, they have an app that will do the same thing. You can see for YouTube, I just had to sign in and that's similar for Instagram and Etsy, but for your website, you will have a couple extra steps. It depends on what you're claiming as to how long this will take. After you've claimed your websites and you have your profile set up, I like to go and make my first pin. Of course, I have been on Pinterest personally and with other brands for a while, so this is not new to me. But if you are a beginner, you may want to purchase some templates or do something to help speed up the process of the pin creation because that is what takes the most time. Here you can see when you go up to create in the top left menu in the drop down, you can go to create a pin and it will bring up this screen. You can then hop over to wherever you create your pins. I use Canva because I use Canva for everything with my brand. So I go up to create a design, search for Pinterest pin, and then select the Pinterest pin template. So it gives you the exact 
canvas with the right dimensions for a Pinterest pin, then you just can use either the templates on the side or your own design that you come up with to make a pin. So I just selected one from the left where they have a bunch of different templates and then I edited it to make it work for the video that I wanted to promote. So I just put in the title and the different things that represented the pin that I was trying to create. Once I put in all the new info and made it my own so that it was going to promote the exact thing that I wanted, I was happy with it. Then you're ready to publish to Pinterest. If you're in Canva, you can actually publish your pins from Canva to Pinterest. So you can, from the drop down at the top, do all of your scheduling or download directly. If you do publish to Pinterest from Canva, you can schedule it for your future time and you'll have to connect your Pinterest account. Then if you prefer, you can just download it and upload it directly to Pinterest, which is what I'm gonna do in this video. So I grabbed the headline of the video I'm promoting. I copied that and then I did edit the title of the photos just because I like to make sure everything matches. So that is also keyword friendly. And then I put it as the title and then made a little bit of a caption where I kind of teased what the content was and made it so someone would want to click through and actually watch the video. The caption is where you're going to want to use any keywords that you've done for keyword research or any hashtags that you want to use or any specific things that you think will either bring people into your pin or convince them to click through. So I also had to get the link. So you'll want to make sure you have the correct link to put down here for the destination link for your pin. That is incredibly important since it does determine where the person is going to end up. And then you'll want to drag and drop your photo into the side. If you need to edit it and do anything like adjustments, you can do that on Pinterest itself. They have definitely improved since Pinterest started all of the different things you can do on the platform. You can even add text or things like that if you want to adjust and make your image a little bit different or better. Once it looks good, you are ready to go. You'll want to just make sure you look over everything and make sure it looks good. Then from Pinterest, from the dropdown, you'll want to make sure you select or create a board. If this is your first pin, you're gonna to want to create a board. So you'll just put in the topic of the name of the board that you want to create. So I did digital product ideas, and that is the board I'm going to use. So you can then click publish, or you can publish at a later date to that board. So that's it. I always like to see my pin and look and make sure it looks right. So I like to double check the link and click through and make sure it goes to the right place and I haven't copied and pasted something incorrectly. Then because you have a business account, you'll be able to start seeing stats once your pin is getting interactions. So you'll be able to scroll up and see impressions, saves, outbound clicks, and see a lot of info. And then from that, you can decide if you want to see more or if you want to promote or boost that pin to drive more traffic to it. It does take a little while to get all of these impressions and stats in, but once you have it, it's very useful. And this is why you definitely need a business account for your Pinterest.